Hi and welcome back to my channel So Sit So Nat. You can find me on Instagram as So Sit So Nat with underscores. I'll put it here. Um, hi, how are you doing? I was meant to be here a week ago um, but life's just been a bit busy. It's a bit later in the day today. Um, I'm still in the same room but I've spun you around um, trying to get on with the light that's coming through the window. Um, so we'll see how this gets on. It is Saturday the 21st of January. Um, life's been a little bit crazy around here, um, but back here. Um, if you haven't checked out my last, uh, not last video, the video before, the Whip Parade, uh, go and check out the end if you're a regular subscriber. Um, and I will pull that in the next video. Um, sorry, I'm saying yeah, I'm not. I'm trying to avoid the sun. <laughs> not that I want to get rid of the sun. It, it looks like glorious sunshine, but it's cold out there. Really cold. Um, probably around the zero Celsius, which I think is around 32 Fahrenheit. I could be wrong. Um, I have three finishes, but only two only two that I can show and um, the other one was a, the secret project which now needs to get framed um, I have two new starts um, a little bit too much haul but mainly patterns and like tiny little patterns you'll see when I get to haul um, right should we get started then uh, and I just realised I've not undone any zips and I still have the cough so it could be choppy again I also can't find my board so I'm doing really well today with this impromptu flop tube, flop tube flop tube what's one of those um, so this is the stitching mummy on Etsy uh, and I did the varied colourway Ooh, is the lighting gonna? Uh, um, so yeah, as you can see, December was quite cold, um, and this is my finish on that. Oh, it's with all the call for DMC, like I say, the varied colourway on 14 count white Ada. Um, yeah, I haven't put my initials or year or anything on there. Um, but thinking about putting it on the front of a project book. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, my other finish is Caterpillar Cross Stitch Picnic Party. If not, it's his way around. Um, and I did this on a vintage. No, it's just a blue. So I got 32 count linen with call for DMC apart from one of the pinks in the border um, but I'll put that in the notes below love how that turned out um, not sure if you can tell whether you can see the white on oh, it's showing all right the white on the pale blue um, it's shown a case day. Like when I was stitching in the evening, I couldn't do it. I had to do it during the day. But then, not got the greatest of lighting where I sit in the evening. Um, yeah, it's tending to pick things on Ada. Um, I won't close that. Um, and like I said the other finish is one I can't show you. And I have got notes to the side, which I keep looking down. Um, right, so. First whip. Technically, I had a new day, new, uh, new year's, new start, um, and I can't remember what I did just before Christmas, but I, I know which ones I've worked on. Um, yeah, we'll do the Theresa who made me do it. So first, um, I'd already started this ages ago. Um, did a bit more work on it, which is the John Clayton, the Heritage Craft John Clayton. Holly kit um, and I swapped this out for a 14 count Ada doing it 2 over 1 uh, that's not a, it's very 
you haven't got very far where you can't tell which way is up. Um, so yeah, just put a bit more threads in. I think I've done all this dark section and a bit more here and then started this bit here. Um, I did a centre start. So I think we're over in this area here. Um, so yeah, I need to get some, at some point get some more work done on this, but it's not a priority for me the year, at the moment. I don't think it will get finished this year. Do my new year, new year, new start on uh, in new starts. I think I've only had it up two days. I think. Um, next piece is the what remains um, by Blackbird Designs. Now this is on the priority list. Um, I'd like to get it finished end of May, before the end of May. I want to get it framed. Uh, so I've continued the border down the side and across the top. Um, I I'll probably get this one out later, I think, if I get the chance. It's not showing very well in this light. I think going a bit more better. Um, I did stitch, <laughs> continue stitching past the gap for the bird. And then realised I was off, so I had to unpick quite a lot, which is a bit frustrating. Um, but now I'm trying to make sure those borders meet at the bottom, and then uh, there's still some more birds and some earring stitches and flowers to put in. Um, and then there's a load of birds at the bottom that need to go in, and then the rest of the motifs. Um, and I've I've been watching a lot of floss tube um, and. Love Michelle's finish at Penny Store to Shares um, with the the initials that she's put in. Um, so yeah, this for me is part of a mother's love style, um, and I ordered it from traditional stitches um, last year, was the year before. No, I started January. Yeah, it must have been the year before. Um, so this has had its birthday um, and there's a reason why I'm wanting to get it finished um, before July, well I mean June July time anyway. Um, uh, next I picked up Wild Violet Don't Fear the Reaper. I say next, I'm not sure these are in any particular order whatsoever. Sorry, is it? Um, this was a March manga start for last year. Um, and that's what it looks like when it's finished. I did rip out the. I think it was. See, zero one. The, for the grey for the moon because it wasn't getting any contrast and put what did I put in I think it's 762 oh I had 762 but instead of that was a sub for zero 01 um, I'll swap that out for zero 03 so you get a little more contrast now and I've done some more of the black down here, sorry this is really <laughs> no oh yeah. see it a bit more better there um <laughs> uh, so put a bit more of that in uh, this is definitely a daytime stitch black on navy dark navy aider not fun even though it's 14 count um, I can do the white, but not the, the black on navy in the evening. 
Um, I'd like to get this finished before March, um, March Mayhem starts because I started this as part of that last year along with Halloween Night by Milhel. Um, this one is much closer to a finish than the other one, sorry I need to duck down. Um, so I'd like to get that one finished so I can start another Halloween in its place. If not, it'll be the two whips going side by side again. Um, I think I've got I finished the two Christmas projects and I finished the two projects I had as a first. Yes, yeah, so I've got about five, four or five new starts for that this year. Um, but bearing in mind, I did eight last year. A bit better. <laughs> um, Next to show you is the uh, I'm Not Coming Sal, which is the Stitches RSVP by Alicia Paulson. Uh, company name's Posy. That's what it should look like. And the thing that I was struggling with this is the one over one. So I've done, I think I've done the E and the N. <laughs> I've done literally two letters. Um, so yeah, one over one on, on 36 count. Not fun, not fun. Um, but persisting with it because I absolutely love the um, chart. There are some other things I need to fill in as well which I haven't done yet. Um, and that is mostly called for, um, apart from one of the DMCs I had to sub out because it's too close to the linen colour which is a Zweigart smoky blue. Um, yeah. Next is something that not technically got a UFO for a while but it's back out. <laughs> um, and I have plans. I pulled out it's a Netflix and Stitch style. Um, so you got two releases each month and you chose which one you wanted. Um, the box is at the top and bottom of the same size. The boxes in the middle are slightly narrower. Um, so when it chose to, when it came to about moving things around, you were kind of limited on what choice you had. Um, so I have, you, you'd seen the top row already, and so the crown, Stranger Things, Riverdale, you, that's not, that's going to be Emily in Paris, that was in there, uh, and then I've got, that'll be Ginny in Georgia, Lucifer, Queen's Gambit, Orange is New Black, and then I had, I've got three spots that I need to fill, although I need to figure out if I can move one of these up into one of these boxes, because um, you'll see in haul I bought a um, Breaking Bad uh, chart, which I think is literally like a stitch or two too big for these ones so I've got to bring it down which means I've got to see if I can squeeze something up into here. Um, my other two squares um, I'm currently trying to play around and do a floor is lava square um, and then a man versus B which I haven't quite figured out yet and I have bought a P chart a, a P chart a B chart or chart with B's in take one of the B's out um, and then I, oh that's what I, <laughs> come back to me I need to note it down I was thinking about doing his eyes and his eyebrows somehow with the B sitting where his nose would be so we'll see how that goes <laughs> um, 
Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm back on that one. Um, it's a nice filler stitch. Um, I'm finding when I come home from work and the kids are sorted, um, I just want something easy on Ada, like filler stitch. Um, I'm actually craving a monochromatic piece at the minute. Which I have got the um, opening gambit. But for some reason it's just not calling to me. I don't know if it's because it's 1 over 1 on 36 count. I'm thinking, oh, I can't be doing the 36 count. Um, so maybe I should just get it out and, and see how I feel about it. Um, if not, it'll probably move to the summer. Um, I think I've got what's summer stitching and, and winter stitching and like things like black on navy, navy on, no black on navy, like definitely more of a summer um, thing and white on white, all that kind of stuff. It's things that are the same colour basically. Um, two more to show. Um, so I mentioned that I do, um, I participate in love quilts. The South for the unicorn finishes the last part's released the 1st of February um, but I'm well behind I've not sorry this is going to be bad um, I've not finished the first part of that and I think they're on part four or five so yeah I just need to pull that out finish doing the back stitching on part one and move on to part two um, and I meant to stitch on the Black Panther, which is the other piece I'm doing um, for them uh, last night. But I was just exhausted. Um, <coughs> things have been going on here. Um, so, yeah, almost done. Um, th that's really one stitchy session, and that should be done. Um, and then I need to check the sizes on the website because they changed them. Um, and I did it on a 16 count, so I, I need to check it's going to be still okay or if I can adjust the pattern somehow to make it okay. Um, so that's that one. And that's just on a 16 count Ada, two strands, uh, DMC black. Not showing the unicorn because it's not worked on it. Um, last one. It's one that I absolutely love and don't pick up as much as I should. Um, I'd like to get it finished. Well, I don't think it'll be this year. If I can get one le a month done, I'll be happy. Um, and you've, I've shown part A and part B before. Um, so this is. This is the Erica Michaels um, sampler book, um, and that's where I'm up to. So this one's a cashmere stitch. I've started doing it on this top of this turret section of castle, sand castle. Um, all the it was meant to be all white, and then a uh, petite treasure bed, um, but I didn't spring for the petite treasure bed for this project so I've just swapped out for a very faint silvery gold, gold? Faint silvery white. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so this is none of the cold four colours. Well, it looks like the picture kind of. Uh, I'll show you the picture in a second. Um, but yeah, but the rest of the seas to do down here, finish off the castle and then there's some little flags and then that page is done. Oops, that page is done then. Um, and then I can move on to D. Um, so yeah, that's that's what the picture looked like. But you can't see the white stitching on there at all. Um, the other thing that's different in this pattern is there's like three little... Well, it's meant to be in brown it's called for on the chart. Um, I'm not sure I might use this darker blue and just put them in with that. Um, and then that will be the next one, which I've pulled the threads for, which aren't called for either. Um, and that will go on the other 
half of that page. Um, I think I thought I couldn't do it in the evening, but I'm fine with it because it's 32 count, I can do it. Um, so it had been on sort of pause, wanting to get back to it. You're like, why, why am I waiting? So the sofa there, <laughs> it's stuck in, sucking up. Um, so that is all the whips. Um, I have two new starts, well, technically three. Um, I might have to move in a second. <laughs> um, so. I finished the temperature, do I even that around today? Um, I finished the temperature typography um, and I think I shared in plans that I wanted to do Christy Corner's um, temperature bookshelf. Um, I went with the 2003 option uh, and then I've had to play around with the temperatures to go on there. <coughs> And that's roughly what it'll look like. So with the colours in it looks like that. Um, I will be subbing out some of the um, little motifs um, and making it my own. Um, I loved Michelle's Bendy um, Little Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I went and got that. Um, and that'll go on, um, on in the May line. Um, as in May the 4th be with you um, so yeah looking forward to that um, I've made a start on it but I've not put any days in I've recorded the temperature though yep so put the year in put part of the shelf in for the top um, I'm putting a dinosaur, I'm moving the dinosaur from February or March up to January um, so I want to make sure the spacing's correct so I've not joined this line up here yet um, and then we're almost at February I mean the intention is to get the outline done first but I think I might end up doing a bit of both if you know what I mean um, so I haven't changed any of I haven't added any colours into this, I've just changed the range so um, I've got them either covering two or three temperatures or hotter than or colder than. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. And that is on a 14 count white Zweigart so Ada. Uh, also that is part of my haul along with the DMC 300 which goes around the outside. wasn't going to have enough <laughs> um, and then I think I mentioned last time I adopted a whip and I went to stitch on it could I get started no you, you know you're trying to get an anchor point and you just can't get it you're like where why why where <laughs> um, realized that there was a load of stitching off um, and I didn't think I was going to be able to come back from it basically so this is what it was adopted at and this is where I've got it to I've not frogged any of that yet um, is that the right way up yeah that's the right way um, so that's my restart, although I've done it on a, it's got a narrow margin on the sides. Um, but yeah, I need to do a bit more work on that really. Um, there's no sort of deadline on it. Um, I mean I do like, I do actually like the, the pattern itself, it's just painful. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's definitely a Chinese one. I can't find it anywhere on the internet. Um, it's this one, pin. Um, 
Uh, so yeah, just doing that with the kit thread. Um, potentially I could run out with a thread, so I've literally got this sat next to my box of um, DMC. I've just got like, one strand off to compare for every colour. Um, and I did that when I was doing all my monthly um, thread club from Lakeside Needlecraft here in the UK. And next is my big start, my Chatelaine. I know I didn't get that film Oops, recorded. Ah, hello, I'm back here. <laughs> uh, what can I do? I'm not sure I can do anything. Sorry guys. <laughs> And girls. Um, right, which way around does this go? Now I've seen it out, I really want to work on it, but I really want to get my um, what remains finished first. Um, so this is Evening in the Park. Um, how organised it's sure, isn't it? Um, so that's what it looked like when it's done. Uh, and I'm doing it on a, I'm actually doing it on a um, 32 count vintage country mucker. Um, and I watched a tutorial from the Stitchy Ninja, Ninja Stitcher, um, on the getting the ribbons in there around the Q snap, and then I've also got um, felt just in there, um, and this is where I've started. So as as it gets bigger, I'll move it to a bigger Q snap. Um, I've done I've done any beads. Yes, I've done some beads as I went. Um, I put some petite pressure braid on there. Mm. Not sure on the petite pressure bay front yet. Um, jury's out. Um, love using the silk, so silk's are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that is that. <coughs> um, Yeah, so that, sorry there was somebody at the door, um, so that project um, is fully kitted up, not necessarily, sorry, pardon me, with all the call for, um, but the vast majority. And next I have, <laughs> um, next is haul um, plans. Um, in terms of plans, I uh, would like to join Michelle in the FFO Challenge uh, 2023. I'll put the hashtag in. Um, I said I'd like to do two FOs, FFOs a month, so finish, fully finished object, turning one of your projects into a cushion, a f input in a frame, or however you would like to finish your project. Flat folds is very popular at the minute. Um, I kind of did a flat fold with the um, La Finestial Del Tempo cell, um, but didn't do the other half, so I only did like the one side, so I didn't do the adjoining bit, because um, I've got it on an easel. So I would have liked to attempt a flat fold at some point, um, I just got to pick the right project. <laughs> oh, that's better. <coughs> um, next, yeah, I'd like to get the sample book C finished for January and then start D for February. I need to get the next piece of uh, linen ready as well. Um, 
finished designing what I need to for the Netflix stitch sale. That's long finished. Um, finish what remains. I'll do some more work on it basically. Um, and then I was watching Emma X stitching whip parade. I think it was the whip parade. Um, I'll put the floss tube number below. Um, and she was going through all the cells that they were thinking about doing. Um, and she pulled out the August one. Having also watched Danielle the Cardiff stitcher pull hers out and go, oh, I, really, I like that. Um, went and found it. And then saw it on there as a potential sell for August uh, for MX stitching and blue stitches. Um, I think I'm going to kit that up. Um, speaking of kitting things up, my stitch from stash is still, we're still in the black, we're doing okay. Despite the haul, you'll see in a minute. Um, so I did have some Christmas money that I've put into that pot as well. Um, and it's my birthday next month as well, so I don't want to go too wild, but also know that Nashville needle market's coming up, so we'll see what happens next. Um, might be some pre-orders in there. Um, but I'm trying to leave it the 24 hours before I hit the buy button when I see something. For example, the Clouds Factory... Oh, sorry, the cough's coming back. Class Factory Wednesday I saw on Instagram the other day, I was like, yeah, I want that. Yeah, yeah. It's not made it... Well, I went to the Class Factory website. I've not actually purchased it yet, but it's there. Um, uh, but I am trying to stick to the 30 whips. I want to get down to 25 by the end of this year. Um... Technically, if you include the adopted whip, I am on 30. Um, so I need to finish some things. Especially since in March, I want to start five things, but I want to finish one thing before then. Yeah, it's adding up. Um, so I'm trying to concentrate on finishing things and then those projects that I know I'm not going to get finished soon or that aren't the sampler book and I want to do a letter a month put those on hold for a little bit um, and concentrate on the ones I can get finished um, apart from temperature bookshelf as well yeah so apart from temperature bookshelf and sampler book I want to concentrate on getting finishes done um, there will be another birth announcement pattern. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to start that yet. Got a bit of time. <laughs> not mine. Um, somebody at work. Uh, I'm going to do haul now. Um, so if you've got this far, thank you. Um, I think I said hello and welcome, but not very well maybe. Um, I do appreciate you spending time with me. I know there is a lot of frost tube content out there at the minute, especially a lot of whip parades. I know I've been consuming quite a lot. Um, and some of the um, people I haven't posted for a long time have posted, which I find very exciting. Hopefully um, Tia Martini uh, Stitcher will post again. Uh, she's done her whip parade, and then she did like a mid-January update. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to that, as well as all my <coughs> normal subscriptions. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of content. Um, if I rattled out a list now, I'd probably forget somebody, so I'm not going to. <coughs> right, haul then. Oh yeah, before I forget, don't forget to go back to the whip parade at the end. Right. Right. Haul. Um, this is in no particular order. Um, I picked up the cross stitch magazine because I wanted to do that um, and I was quite fortunate in the uh, bit of tape measure that I got. Uh, it, it does say it where it should say it. Um, I did have a plan B if it didn't. Um, and there's a couple of other things I might do in there as well. Um, uh, next was an eBay purchase. 
which is Northern Needle Expressions, Celtic Snow, Celtic Snow. Um, haven't kitted this up. I'm not sure if some of the beads are in the Chatelaine, so I need to double check that. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in the Dinky Dyes or the DMC. I might splurge for Dinky Dyes. I've not had them before. Um, and I'm not sure what fabric I'm doing it on yet. So looking forward to that. Um, I placed this order before Christmas. Um, uh, this is from Nimble Thimble. Um, bless her. She wasn't well the day she called me. She said, oh, they've come. Um, but because of the postal strike, she wanted me to hold on to them. Because um, the post is absolutely chaotic before Christmas. So I said, yes, please, hold on to them. And then they landed on my doorstep, 3rd of January. So very happy. Um, when she rang me, neither of us were well. But we managed to get through it. <laughs> Um, so I picked up the Glitter Village series, um, so that's that, oh, this could all go wrong. I'm going to do them all as one piece, um, I think the guidance on their website says leave three stitch gap between them, I can't remember if there's a border or not, so let me check that out at some point. Um, some of the over dyed um, are in more than one piece, um, so I need to kick that off at some point. Um, and I'm thinking of a these wide guard, like natural raw with the silver in it, um, which I've not. I think I've used a gold one before, but not the silver. Um, so yeah, that'll be an experiment. Um, and Chris ordered all of those in from me from the Hoftons um, website. Um, it's also through in a pen, which is great. Um, doing, um, sorry, so that's in plans. Maybe starting J Jolly July could be one. Um, and then. My thread club came in. This is a new thread club from Poppy Patch for cottage garden needle threads. Um, pistachio. I'm not sure where the blue is in pistachio. Uh, and then Mrs. Ryan. Yeah. So like I say, that's from Poppy Patch here in the UK. Details will be down below. Um, Sam and Mary are great. Um, so I'm just waiting on my. I ordered two more skeins of ampersand. I didn't have it in, but they're going to ship it next month for me. Um, then I have a thread club from Lakeside Needlecraft, uh, which is a classic colour works one. Uh, so on the M's and N's, I guess that's about halfway through the alphabet, I don't know if it's halfway through the um, collection. I'm not going to show these very well. Um, more berries very oh, pretty it's not that variegated though um, morning glory oh they're going everywhere um, 
yeah some gorgeous colours in there so I'm not showing them very well today um, I need to find out what's happened to the board I think it might have accidentally taken it upstairs um, that's that and then my thread, uh, not thread fabric club this is called um, Carnation and I go for the 32 and the 36 fabric flare even weave um, I've just got this pattern on it I think I was just a little bit too slow off the mark with this because it's not some pun of me sorry um, it's not something necessary I would stitch on so I need to I know part of being in a fabric club is challenging yourself and um, trying new things um, but I'm seriously contemplating changing my fabric club um, so if you've got any recommendations here in the UK let me know um, yeah um, liked all the like, gemstone type ones not so keen on the flowery ones I do like flowers but I'm not into flowery things um, then Christmas present wise um, I got some 32 count uh, copper glitter it's cool that's why I got um, this was from Amazon but um, floor shelf fulfilled it um, they're really good as well um, and then I got a friend's cross stitch book if you want me to do a flip through let me know um, and then um, Emma Condon cross stitch for the heart and there's a few things I'd like to do in there oh, I think there's a couple in the, the friends one um, it's not as good I thought as I thought it might be so if you want me to do a flip through just let me know um, and then in terms of what I've purchased uh, so during Christmas and New Year we went over to Dunelm and I picked from their Christmas bits I picked up the ribbons so it's just like a, a bundle of ribbons they're all about a metre long um, I placed an order with Lakeside I think it was on New Year's Eve or the day before um, and I bought a 17 inch Q snap and then the 20 inch adapter which I wasn't expecting one this big but it's because it's got the the strips and then the little joins inside so you don't have to the clips are 20 inches not the 17 um, so it kind of made sense why the price was I was like they're really expensive um, and that's all the way around so that's those um, and that'll be for the chatelaine as it gets bigger and then I picked up the discount was on DMC and it's Weigart fabric so I picked up the a big meter of um, 14 count and 16 count Ada um, some threads that I've already used two on the bookshelf two for the Netflix sow um, and then the rest are just in here um, just the usual I call for some um, 666973 and then some more blanc um, so I don't run out again <laughs> and that's those then I just picked up some more paper tags off Amazon because um, the new ones I've been kitting up lately I've done on thread drops it's either on the, the plastic cards that you get off Amazon out all the card stock right PDFs I think most of these I've got a cover sheet for so I'm not sure what order these are in I think they're all jumbled up so 
Um, I purchased this from Yaz's shop. Merry Christmas. Um, I think I will use the DMC 115. I haven't decided what fabric yet, but thinking about doing this as part of the March Mayhem. To go against. <laughs> if you know, you know. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Uh, to go with my other home loan piece. Going back to if you know, you know. Um, Monkey Island. <laughs> it's a hammer bee thing. Um, me and the kids did it a few years ago. Um, What's this one? I've got a bunch of this name. Nuska Creation Store. Um, and it's just camping tools. Um, this is the one with the B in. So this is... Maria Gongalvas. Honeycomb. Uh, and then it's just a bee that's sort of sticking that way up. Oops. And then this was on sale, but it'd been in my basket a while. Probably some little stitch from my dad. Um, it's 40 Towers by 8 Bit North Stitcher. X stitch, sorry, 8 bit north X stitch. I'll put the details below. Uh, don't mention the war. <laughs> if you know, you know as well on that one. Um, that's got quite a few colours in it. Um, and then this is the one, this wasn't cheap, I didn't want to design it myself, so that's the one I bought for the Breaking Bad RV. Um, I think I've put the name on the file but not wrote it down here. I'll put the details below though. Um, my plan is to only do mainly the RV, maybe a little bit of this and maybe a little bit of that so it fits in the box. Because the pattern's only 50 by 50 but it still won't fit in the box. <coughs> And then these, I think they should be in the same order, three are by Mary Wise, Wheeze. Um, so the mini snow speeder. Mini Death Star. And the one that started it, the Mini Millennium Falcon. <laughs> and then I've got a few freebies that I've picked up. So this was on the Carolyn Manning Facebook group. I don't know if you can still get it. I think possibly you can if you join the group. You just got to answer a couple of questions. Um, and this is Ant Arctic Blast. And then this one's a needlepoint block. I don't hold it too close. It's a very small pitch that I printed. Um, but you can search up, it's just quiet. It's got quiet, please cross stitcher at work, and it's got 2010, which I'll change out. Um, I'm not sure what colour I'm going to stitch it in, whether I'm going to keep like a blue colour or not. But like I said that's the one that um, MX6 is potentially thinking about doing for August. Um, and then Silver Creek Samplers have done one.
which is I Can, I Will to 2023. It's called Can Do Attitude. And that's just on their website. And I also picked up the hands-on design freebie, um, which I don't think I had. Which is just a merry one. And then ages ago I picked up, I just realised, I've, I've printed all these off now. Um, which is this cauldron thread keep? So you make like a cushion, it's got a pocket inside. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that at some point. I think that was on her gum road. Um, so that is all the patterns, one of which I can't show you. Um, not for some time, um, but I've still got quite a bit of time to stitch that one. Um, uh, that is it in terms of haul. Um, and I have been making very good use of the oops, the diary that I got, which is the wrong way around, which is the one from Donnell. Um, making notes of when I finish things, uh, frost tubes. Um, so yeah, almost what I'd stand up for the uh, FFO challenge. Um, so I watched Michelle's videos. So, oh yeah, I remember that. And <laughs> um, to make sure I made a note in the um, in there. Um, in terms of what I will finish this month, I think it's going to be two small things. Um, I've also got the big the framing to do uh, on the secret stitch, which I can't show you yet. Um, so yeah, and it's the 21st of March, it's my son's birthday next week, so it's party time tomorrow, uh, hence trying to squeeze this in, I feel like I'm in witness protection almost. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to call it a day there because I find it really hard to sort of, uh, I'm sort of at a weird angle now. Um, so I will see you in February and I will call the winner from the Whip Parade video. Uh, in that video so yes thank you for staying thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you next time bye